Hey there everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how to create a dynamic chart using dynamic named ranges. Now I'm using my real estate apartment acquisition model to illustrate that and I've dropped in a column chart here that shows net operating income over a 15 year hold period. Now this particular model allows me to adjust the analysis for the hold period depending on you know what, what values I want to look at. And the problem that I have is this chart, if I change my analysis period, the result is I get this blank empty space here on the end because it's trying to show all 15 years. And I want it to only show the years that I'm analyzing or essentially this empty space I want to go away. So I'm going to create or make this chart dynamic. And how I do that is I go to the location of this data and it happens to be on the annual cash flow tab. And right now that chart is showing these years in the horizontal axis and it's showing this net operating income as the columns. And I'm going, to cr I'm going to make the year row dynamic and I'm going to make the net operating income row dynamic or dynamic ranges. Now how I do that is I go to this name manager, right? I'm going to create a new range and I would drop in the name of the range here and then I would drop in uh, what the range is. Well, uh, what I need to do is I need to write a formula that's going to identify that range. And I think it's easier, rather than writing the formula here and not having the guides, right? So you don't have the, the, the Excel guide that tells you what to put in. I'm going to do it outside here, call this my scratch paper. And then I'll copy the, for, the formula from here and drop it in when I create the range. So what I do is I'm going to be using the offset function to create this dynamic range. Now, if you recall the offset function in Excel, it returns a cell or range of cells that is a specified number of rows and columns away from a reference cell. Uh, what that means is, and so I opened up, uh, I, I wrote uh, offset, opened up parens, um, it asked first for the reference. Well, in this case, we're creating the range for years. And so my reference cell or the, 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 the beginning of this range is going to be this cell right here. Now I'm going to hit F4 to lock that cell in place. Then it asks for how many rows, uh, positive above, negative below, away from this reference cell will the range begin? Well, it's, it's going to begin right there. So no rows above or below. How many columns away to the left or right? Zero. And then it asks how high is this uh, range? Well, it's one row high, so just a one. And then how wide is it? Now this is where we can create uh, how, how we make this dynamic. It is how wide? Well, right now it's 10 columns wide, right? But this will change depending on, if we come back to our property summer, de summary, depending on what value we have here in our analysis period. And so we can either choose to just have this reference that, and that's one way to do it, or the other way to do it, if you don't happen to have uh, an assumption value here that you can, you can call to, I'm going to use a count. So let's come back to where we were delete this out so we're not confused and then we're going to count the number of cells in a, in a range that contain numbers from here all the way out to the end okay and then I'm gonna hit F4 to lock that into place and what this is doing again is that this count is say this formula is saying how many columns from here to here in this row contain numbers. Now, you may not be able to see that these are actually number values and then I used formatting to add the year in front. So that's why I'm able to use uh, uh, counting of cells with numbers. You could also use other count. You could use a count if and then ask uh, which of these have certain text or you could use a count a, which uh, number of cells or uh, cells in a range that are not empty. I'm going to just going to count uh, number of cells that have values. Now I'm going to go ahead and close this out. Now again, this was just for scratch, uh, and so, but I have the formula, and this is the formula that I need. I'm going to go ahead and copy this with a Control C. I'll come up to my name manager, create a new named range. I'm going to call this range years. Okay, and then in the refers, that's where I'm going to paste in that offset function we just wrote. There you see it. That's just exactly what we have there. And we hit OK. And then if we want to look at it again, we come to this box. And notice what is highlighted is just 
the number of years that are being shown. That's because this is now dynamic. So we have our dynamic named range for the year. Let me write it for net operating income really quick. Reference this, F4, 0, 0, 1 high, count from here to there. That is called NOI. Hit enter. We have that. And then new name range NOI. And then check it. Yes, it worked. So now we have our two dynamic named ranges. Now it's just a matter of dropping these dynamic named ranges into our chart. Now the easiest way to do this is just hit the select data and this is going to pull open the data. Now we can see right now it's selecting all the way out to here and we want to make that dynamic. And so we're going to choose first our uh, legend entries and we hit end edit and this is editing the the data series. Notice there's C24 that's net operating income. And then our series values, this is where, go where we're going to drop in our range. Now it's important, you'll notice first that it, it calls out the tab, this annual cash flow tab. We're going to want to leave that in place. We're going to go just beyond the exclamation point. See that exclamation point right there? Everything to the right of it, we're going to highlight. We're going to hit delete so that we have annual cash flow and then the exclamation point. Then we're going to hit F3. And this opens the Pace Name box. And we're going to find, uh, again, this is uh, net operating income, right? We're going to come and find our range NOI. There it is. Hit OK. It drops named a range NOI. We could have just written that out, but I like using the F3 because it reminds me the name of that range. Then we hit OK. Now we have one. Now the, the challenge is we don't have our horizontal axis right. Uh, it's working right now, but if we went the other way, it wouldn't. So we're going to come hit edit here, do the same thing, here's our, here's the tab that it's calling out or the worksheet it's calling out, and then just to the right of the exclamation point, delete, F3, come down, find range, years, OK, and there it is. Come up and change the analysis period to 15, and it's dynamic. Change it to 5, again, 8, and so forth. And there we have dynamic charts in Excel. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out, and thanks for your time.